to another video. We have a very, very special treat for you all today. We have a very special guest that's going to be joining us for our video today. Do you guys remember a couple weeks ago you were introduced to my twin brother? Well, he's going to be joining us for the video today. So everybody on the count of three, I need you guys to say, hey, Mr. Mike. Right? One, two, three. Hey, Mr. Mike. Hey, boys and girls. It's me, Mr. Mike. How are you doing, Mr. Mike? I'm doing good. Brother Mark, how are you? Well, I'm doing great. I was wondering if you could help us with our Bible story today. I would love to help you. All right. So we're going to talk today about how, how much God is higher than us, how God knows everything, and how his ways are always perfect. So I thought I would demonstrate this with a cool little math trick. Do you like math, Mr. Mike? I like math. Uh, about this much. Oh, uh, so so maybe we'll like math a little bit more after this trick. Huh? I hope I do. All right. Well, I need a helper. Logan, would you be my helper today? I need you to come right here. Come stand by Mr. Mike right here. You, you scared of Mr. Mike? He's a nice guy. Lucas, you want to be my helper? Come here. I need you. Come here, Lucas, and we'll get on your bed. And, um, that's, that's Uncle Mike. Uncle Mike too. <laughs> Is that pretty cool? All right. So Lucas, you see this envelope? I need you to hold this and don't let anybody see inside of it. Hold it down so everybody can see you. And don't let anybody touch that, okay? There's a very special paper in there. All right. Logan, I need you to give me a number. Tell me your favorite number. Seven and sixteen. Seven? And 16, all right. Mr. Mike, you want to give us a number between 1 and 9? 3. 3, all right. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick a couple numbers. Let's do a 2 and 8. Let's do a 3 and 6. All right. Lucas, you want to give us a number? 71. 71, all right. And 69. And 69. All right, and then I'll go ahead and put a couple more. Let's do a two, let's do an eight, let's do a three, let's do zero. All right, that's a lot of numbers, isn't it, Mr. Mike? That is a lot of numbers. I can't remember hardly any of them. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add all these numbers together. So we may need to get a calculator. So boys and girls, I'm gonna grab a calculator. Maybe you guys can see if you can add these numbers up faster than I can, okay? So ready, you set. Get my calculator out, and we're going to add up all these numbers. Ready, set, go. 4, 7, 0, 4, plus 7, 1, 6, 3, plus 2, 8, 3, 6, plus 7, 1, 6, 9, plus 2, 8, 3, 0. All right, well, we got this big number. Boys and girls, did you come up with 24,702? Write this down for us. I did not come up with that number. You did not come up with that number? Of course, I did not have a calculator here. Well, okay, well, that might be why. Well, this is what our calculator says in our magic number. And we're going to talk today, there's a verse in Isaiah, Isaiah 55. God says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. You see, boys and girls, God knows everything about us. He even tells us that he knows how many hairs are on our head. It tells us that he knows all things and he's in control of all things. And so God knows even silly math problems. You know, we're going we're gonna to open up this envelope today and see what's inside. Lucas, you want to open this up, the envelope, and show the boys and girls what's on this paper? Nothing in there. Yeah, there is. There's paper right there. Let's hold it up for the boys and girls to see. What number is that? There's a two, a four, a seven, a zero, and a two. <laughs> Look, it matches our number right here. How did you do that? Well, boys and girls, uh -huh. this is just a simple math trick, but it reminds me so much of how God, He doesn't need tricks to use it, He's all knowing. 
and he's all powerful and he knows all things. And so this reminds me that we can trust him. God knows what's going to happen before it even happens. And he's working all things out for his good. And in fact, that's what the neat thing about the Bible is we get to see this all the way in the Old Testament. God was doing things, preparing the way for Jesus in the New Testament. You see, God knew all of what was going to happen in the Old Testament. He already knew Jesus was coming in the New Testament. And boys and girls, Jesus came so that we could have a relationship with him. God is all-knowing, and we can trust him, and we can trust in what he's done. But he sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross for our sins, to take the punishment for our sins, so that we can have a relationship with him. And we can trust that he's coming back, and that he's going to do what he says he's going to do. And boys and girls, if you don't have a relationship with God, I encourage you to talk to your moms or dads, or talk to one of us. Mr. Mike or, or I would love to talk to you about how you can have a relationship with Christ. And we can remember, no matter what goes on in this world, that God knows everything and he's working all things for his good. All right, boys and girls, it was good to see you. Mr. Mike, thanks for joining us today. I'm glad I got to come and see that trick today. And I'm glad to know that God knows everything before I know it. Yeah, that is very good to know, isn't it? Do you have anything you want to tell the boys and girls? I want to tell them I'm so excited to one day be back together with them and that this Sunday we're going to have a drive-in church and I know you've got a special thing for the kids that come and I'm excited about that. Yeah, we are very excited that this Sunday we're going to have church outside in the parking lot. Everybody can come drive their cars. Well, you don't get to drive your cars. Your mom and dad get to drive their cars. <laughs> And we get to come and have a church service outside. And we got a special thing for all the kids that come so that you guys can do it during the church service. We hope to see you then. And we'll see you later. Mr. Mike, what you got there? Listen, last time I said you only gave me a penny. But look, now you gave me $100. Yeah, you see I gave you $100 right here, boys and girls. You see this? Mr. Mike said all I gave him was a penny. So Yeah, we'll hang on, hang on, hang on. Get that $100 back, okay. please. Okay. Uh, uh. I was all excited, and then I looked on that hundred dollars, and there's something funny about that. It doesn't look a little fishy. I wouldn't do that, would I? There's some Chinese or some writing on that dollar or hundred dollar bill. Oh. Uh, I, I think you give me another penny. I tried to trick you, didn't I? You don't trick me like that. <laughs> oh, you I'm glad God doesn't trick us like you do, my brother. Hey, yeah, God doesn't trick us. You're too smart for me. You didn't fall for my trick. Nope. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we will see you next week. See you later. Bye. Bye.